Hi guys, Richard here. Uh, if you've seen my channel, at least for a long time, then you probably would have seen the response videos I used to do. I don't do enough of them anymore, but uh, I had an interesting question. It's pretty uh, basic beginner pickup stuff, but I always like to answer things when I can and uh, share information with you and receive information from you. So, uh, Mr. Frank over here on YouTube sent me a comment on a video asking how to wire up a four pole humbucker if your guitar had two pole humbuckers. So you're dealing with two extra wires. Uh, it's, it's very simple, but to sort of get into it, let's discuss what exactly a pickup is. And we know a pickup is basically a coil of wire, part of my crappy coil here, coil of wire, with a beginning to that wire and an end to that wire. So we would call one side the start and one side the finish. So if you're dealing with a two pole pickup, like a single coil, then that's all you're going to have is a start and a finish for the most part. So you're going to have your start and your finish which is also basically your ground and your hot lead, right? So let's make our hot leads red, just for a little bit of added clarity. Now if you have a humbucker that is two pole, you still have a start and a finish, and a start and a finish, right? So a coil of wire has a, uh, around a magnet, that magnet's going to have a polarity, so you're going to have a north and a south. And on a single coil, if you just have one single coil, it's not that big of a deal which way your magnet goes. But in a humbucker, you're going to have two separate coils together, and you're going to have one in a north-south configuration, and one in a south-north configuration. What this does is the opposing polarity cancels out the hum, when you have two separate coils of wire. So when you have two separate coils of wire, you're going to have a, what we call a north start, because remember we have a start and a finish. You have a north start and a north finish, which actually would be on this side. This would be your north pole magnet because the north is at the top, your south is at the top. So we'd have a north start and a uh, north finish on one coil and a south start and a south finish on the other coil. So if we're going this way, you, your, your wires would come in and your finish is gonna be your hot lead. If you have a two lead humbucker and you have two coils, so, you know, a humbucker's got two coils, then your finish of one will be connected to the start of the next coil. And then all you're gonna have are two leads that come off and one of them will go to ground, one of them will be your hot lead out. So that's your, your hot lead out. So what's different when we get a humbucker that has four leads coming off of it? Why, why even do we have that, right? So when you have a humbucker that has four leads, all they've done is give you a way to access the start and finish of each coil. So you're gonna have your start of one coil, you're gonna have your finish of that coil, you're gonna have your start of the next coil, and you're gonna have your finish or your hot lead out of that next coil. So it's super easy. If your guitar only had two leads and you have a four lead pickup, all you need to do is do what they used to do at the factory, right? What they did for this two lead pickup is connect the finish of one coil to the start of the next. Your pickup should have some literature with it that shows what is connected, like what should be connected. The reason they give you access to four of these is so that you can coil tap if you wanna make your humbucker tap to a single or, or if you wanna do other trick wiring. That's really all that's there, but if you're just putting your pickup together, if you're just replacing your pickups and you want it stock, then all you need to do is wire these together 
and then you can not even look at them and then you have a two lead pickup. Now what if your humbucker comes with five leads like so many do? Well all this is is an extra ground that goes to the shield of the pickup, the back plate. So it adds a little more shielding. So in that situation you would wire these two together. You would wire your ground and your shield ground together which is usually green and black but don't quote me on that. Every pickup company is going to have a different wiring scheme and you can usually look them up online with no problem. So you wire them together and you just tape these off. You solder these together and you connect these to your ground or uh, you know however your output, however you want to wire your guitar. And it's really simple. So if you have a guitar that is just, pardon me, I'm dealing with a whole bunch of markers, guys. <laughs> if you have a standard two humbucker guitar and you have your two humbuckers and you have a switch that they're wired to then if you have your two leads per humbucker which over here your two leads would just be your, your start and your finish right so you would have your two middle together you just have your two leads once you disconnect these two leads over here which one of them will probably be going to each side of your switch from your humbuckers and the other side will probably be going to ground all you need to do is replace wherever these two leads from your two lead humbucker were connected with the your two put together leads from over here from your new four pole or five pole pickup. Like I said, just refer to your pickup because without knowing what kind of pickups you have, I can't directly tell you what color goes to what. You're gonna have to look that up. And then your hot lead goes out to your output jack as uh, you know as normal. Little jack there your ground and I mean nothing nothing really changes so it's very simple if you just think about what a guitar pickup is it's very simple to wire up a four pole sy pickup system to a uh, one that had a two pole previous I say pole but I mean lead but uh, yeah so I hope that answers your question, Frank. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to leave me a comment and ask me about this kind of stuff. Uh, I tried to make it super easy, but uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. And that goes for any of you guys. If you have any tips, tricks, or whatever for Frank or me, let me know. I'm always reading all the comments, and I try to respond to everybody. Uh, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.